Today, I'm here with Rob Morrison to talk about our next generation machine tool probing system. Let's find out what it's got to offer. So Rob, can you talk us through the probe name, what it consists of, and the type of exciting features we can look forward to seeing from the system? Yeah, certainly. So what you've got in your hand there is called the RMI QE. It's part of the new QE series of products. So the, Q, the RMI QE has a new radio protocol and all of the, our current range of radio probes have been updated to work with that new radio protocol. I think one of the major benefits you can see straight away is how much smaller the RMI QE is. That means it has much greater installation possibilities within the machine tool. At the same time, we've also improved the, the setup of the, of the probe system. So that's much easier to use. And also we've greatly improved the battery life. Um, but one of, the, one of the major benefits of the system is that just like the current range of Q probes that we currently sell, you can do automated tool setting and part setting on your machine tool without a human operator being present. This means that it greatly improves your productivity on the machine tool and it removes the variability that human operators bring to the production process. So it's a much less variable process and therefore that means your, your production is much better. Great, and that's, that's a really comprehensive overview. Uh, you mentioned in there uh, probe battery life. Maybe we can start off there and uh, tell us a bit more about what kind of improvements we can see, because I know it's a very important subject for our, for our probe users. Yeah, certainly. So, so your typical user is going to see something like a 400% improvement to the battery life that they get with their current radio probe system. Okay, 400%. That's, that sounds huge, but can you maybe provide some context and, and, and in, in real terms, what, what does that mean for a typical probe user in terms of... Yeah, so a typical probe user will probably see something like five years between battery changes. I think you'll agree that's a major improvement over what we currently sell. That means that they have to spend much less money on batteries, but it's also great for the environment as well. Yeah, that's that's a huge point. Um, if we can improve the the green credentials of our products, uh, then that's, that's that's great for customers, great for great for us as a company as well. So you also mentioned at the beginning there improving probe setup. Uh, again, we've we've got a manual method at the moment. So I know that this new technique uh, that we've come up with is a is a big improvement. Uh, can you maybe talk through how that's improved? Certainly, so anyone who's used a Renishaw probe before knows that you do need to change the probe configuration. For example, if you're using the probe in a, a high vibration environment in the machine, you need to change the filter settings on the probe. The way that this is currently done is you actually move the stylus when prompted by flashing LEDs on the probe. And this is actually quite a difficult process to master and to get used to. So what we've done is we've come up with a much easier way using your mobile phone. You load an app onto the phone and then you set up your probe configuration on the phone and then you use the camera's flash on the phone to send the new probe configuration to the probe. So it's a very quick and easy way to configure your probe now compared with the old system of manually triggering the, the stylus. It's a definite improvement. I've set many probes using the traditional trigger logic method. Uh, I've had to go with the new system and using the phone hundred times easier. So I think that's going to be big for our, for our users. Uh, if we can talk about the RMIQ interface now, um, so I can see compared to its predecessor, the RMIQ, it's, it's a lot smaller. Uh, is, is it just size that's changed or is there any improvements to transmission? Can you talk about anything around, the, around that area? Certainly, so as, as you rightly said, it is much smaller than the RMIQ that we currently sell. In fact, it only takes up about 40% of the volume. This means it's a much less intrusion into the machine environment. And we've even come up with a, a bracket that we call the sub-mount bracket, which enables you to mount the RMI QE behind the machine enclosure. So only the front 10 millimeters of the RMI QE protrudes into the, into the environment inside the machine tool. So it's much less of a swarf trap. But despite the much smaller size, it still uses the FHSS radio transmission of the current system. So it means it's still as reliable and robust in a re real uh, radio environment in the machine shop as our current system is. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you mentioned FHSS there. Maybe we, we should explore that for our users. Can you, can you maybe talk about what that stands for and, and, and why it, it differentiates our systems from, from others on the market? Yeah, certainly. So FHSS stands for Frequency Hopping Spread Spectrum. It's a bit of a mouthful, but what it means in real life is that the frequency that the transmission between the probes and the uh, receiver 
gets done on, that, that frequency hops around to avoid any frequencies that have high radio interference, such as you might get from Wi-Fi systems or Bluetooth or even microwave ovens inside machine shops. So that means because our frequencies are hopping around, avoiding that high level of interference, they're really, really reliable in the busy radio environment that you get in, in a typical machine shop. Okay, great. That's a great explanation. And people might think, well, we've uh, reduced the size of it. Has that had any impact on the transmission range or, or the worldwide compliance that our previous RMIQ system had good coverage in? No, that's a good point. There's absolutely no difference from our current radio system. You still get that 15 meter range between the probe and the RMIQE. This means it's still great for, for large machines or multi-axis machines where you might not have a line of sight between the probe and the radio receiver. And it also continues to have the same international compliance in all the major markets on the 2.4 gigahertz band that our current range of radio probes has. Okay. So I think we covered some, some points there in detail, but is there any other customer benefits that you want to summarize now that, that, you haven't, that we haven't already covered? Certainly. So as I mentioned previously, we have upgraded all of our radio probes to work with the new RMI QE radio receiver, but they will still work with the old RMI Q radio receiver. So if you have a machine tool which already has an RMI Q installed on it, you can use the new probes and all the, the benefits they bring. But if you do decide to upgrade to the new RMI QE, it ha as I mentioned earlier, it has this new radio transmission protocol. Now, Renishaw is currently working on a whole, whole new range of smart sensors and devices to work on machine tools that use this new radio protocol. So that's coming in the future, so watch this space. Okay, thanks Rob. I look forward to seeing what comes next. So there we have it. Our next generation machine tool probing system is available to order now. If you like what you've seen and want to learn more, please visit us at renishaw.com forward slash QE series.